Thank you for selecting a Pulsive Heater cooling tower controller for your application. This video is intended to familiarize you with the Microvision EX controller. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your controller. And as always, adhere to all local, state, and national codes. The timers page is where you will set up your remaining relays. The relays can be configured as pulse timers, percent timers, 28 day timers or biocides, percent post bleed, limit timer, or alarms. To set up a pulse timer, you need to configure the feed time or the desired amount of time you would like the pump to turn on when your accumulator set point has been reached. Set up your accumulator set point. If you have more than one water meter in your unit, you will need to point this pulse timer to the specific water meter you would like to look at. There are two parameters when setting up a percent timer. You will need to set your cycle time and your percentage of minutes you would like the timer to run. For example, 10% of 60 minutes would be 6 minutes of feed time every 60 minutes. A 28-day timer, or biocide, can have four programs running on each relay. To set up a single program of a biocide timer, you need to configure the weeks, days, start time, feed time, and if applicable, specify a pre-bleed, minimum conductivity, and bleed lockout. A 28-day timer can be set to run on any individual week, odd weeks, even weeks, or every week. Any combination of weekday can also be selected. You may choose all of the days or a single day. The start time is when you would like to either begin your feed cycle or a pre-bleed if applicable. A pre-bleed time is the maximum amount of time you would like the bleed function to be force enabled prior to a feed cycle. If there's a minimum conductivity you would like the tower to reach to immediately begin your feed cycle, this can also be set. Next, specify your feed time or how long you would like to feed chemical. To prevent your tower from bleeding costly chemicals, you can also set a bleed lockout or the amount of time you would like to prevent your tower from bleeding water from the system. Note that this timer begins when your feed cycle begins. For the lockout to last longer than your feed time, please specify it as such. Percent post bleed keeps track of the time the bleed relay is turned on. When that bleed shuts off, it will then bleed for the specified percentage. The timer also includes a limit timer to prevent overfeeding. A limit timer also known as a bleed and feed timer, will mirror your bleed relay. This timer also has its own independent limit timer. You can also configure any of these timers to be alarms. They will turn on when any alarm on the system is present. All timers also feature a bio-tracking option. From this menu, you can configure how a timer will respond when a 28-day timer's feed time is running. The relay will not turn on if skip is enabled if another 28-day timer feed cycle is running. None will cause the timer to ignore the presence of other 28-day timers. This has been a short overview of the Microvision EX.
If you have any additional questions, refer to your manual, contact your local sales rep, visit our website, pulsatron.com, or call our tech support department.